This is amazing. What if there is a model which beats ChatGPT? What if it's none other than Gemini released by Google? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Gemini, Google's large language model. I'm going to take you through step by step on the list of use cases, the list of features and what it is all about. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe, click the like button and stay tuned. Welcome to Gemini era. Gemini is built from ground up for multi-modality reasoning seamlessly across text, images, video, audio and code. If you see the performance, it's beating human expert performance of 89.8%. Gemini Ultra is capable of reaching to 90%. If we compare that with GPT-4, it's mostly beating GPT-4 on many things. If you see the general benchmark, it's 90% and beating GPT-4. For reasoning, it's beating GPT-4 on most things. In the math problem, it's beating GPT-4 on every area. And for coding, it's beating GPT-4 in these benchmarks. Coming to multimodality, it's beating GPT-4 in every single area. In image, in video, and also in audio, everything. This is groundbreaking. I'm going to break this down for you one by one. Coming to Gemini, they are releasing three different models. One is the ultra version, which is capable of doing big tasks, and then a pro model, which is able to perform medium kind of task, and a nano model, which we can load it in a device. This Gemini model is multimodal. Not only that, conversion such as audio to audio is native. What does that mean? For a normal large language model, when we input an audio, it will be converted to text and then it performs the request. Then it will be converted back to audio. But in this, everything is done natively, which means there's no degradation in the quality because audio to audio is done natively. Next, it's been mentioned that it's beating all the large language model available. That also includes GPT-4, which we can see from the slide. This model outperforms a human expert. Human expert meant to have 89.8%, but Gemini Ultra is 90%. Implementing state-of-the-art safeguards, which means much more secured. Now we are going to see different use cases. The first in the area of coding. So it is Alpha Code 2. This performs 85% better than the previous Alpha Code version. Gemini works across Python, Java, C++, Go. The solving rate is 75%. The previous POM model is 45%. It has 90% solve rate when checking and repairing answers. It can even solve most complex problem with dynamic programming. In the current system capabilities, we are only doing implementation, which means a large language model responding only to our request without deeply going into reasoning. But in alpha code, first it will do requirement analysis, then system design, and finally implementation. This is exciting, which means it's much more accurate. One of the use cases is that it was presented with 200,000 plus research articles and then to find the relevance. And it was able to find the relevant research papers and was able to update the graph from this to this. The previous graph, it's up to 2019, but when provided to the large language model, it was able to extend till 2022. Again, when asked, can you help me write a Google Maps web app to show good transporting locations in London? And then it started coding. Then it came up with this map, which is a good starting point. Next, it was given a handwritten exam paper and immediately it was able to mark whether the answer is right or wrong. This improves the efficiency of teachers to check students' answers. Not only that, if anything is wrong, it is able to give a reason why it is wrong, how to solve the problem. And also it gave a practice test so that when the student writes the exam again, he's more likely to get the answers right. Next, we are going to find how this performs when a video input or an image is being given. So by seeing this paper, it was able to identify, I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. Then after drawing this, it replied, I see a squiggly line. After drawing this one, it replied, the contour lines are smooth and flowing with no sharp angles or jagged edges. The bird is swimming in the water. It has long neck and it is a duck. 
it was able to interpret from the image. Next, when added color, it was able to identify the color. As soon as the duck was brought in, it was able to identify what the quack. I was just talking about a blue duck and now you are holding one. It was able to respond in real time. And when presented with this image and the duck in the map, it was able to respond the duck in the middle of the ocean. There is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food. This is impressive. Next, when asked to play a game with this image, it started asking question, guess the country with these animals. Then when the hand was pointed to the country, it immediately gave a response saying that is correct. Next, a paper was hidden in the cup and it asked, you are trying to get me to find the paper bowl under the cup. Then in the visual, the cup is being moved to different position and then it was able to identify which cup the paper is in, the cup to the left. And in the image, you can see it's on the left. It can identify objects in real time. Now, when shown a hand with a rock, paper, scissor, it's able to identify you are playing rock, paper, scissor. When showing the symbol of a dog, it was able to say big ear and barking mouth, a dog. When shown orange cookie, here is the response. Both are food. Orange is a healthier choice than the cookie. When provided with two items and asked what I can build from that, it suggested you can build this a dragon fruit. Next, when provided with these two and asked what can be built, how about a pig with blue ears? When provided with this image, then it responded, it is better to make friends than foes. So the duck should be going left. When given these dots, immediately it was able to identify this is a picture of a crab, which we can clearly see from this. When asked what's the correct order, then it responded, the sun should be first and then earth, then Saturn. Then comparing two images, which one will go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. When provided with the image of a guitar, it is able to recognize that it is a guitar and also it started playing guitar music. When given with the amp, it identified it as an electric guitar and started playing electric guitar music. When given a drums, it automatically added a drums to the song. When an image of a tree gets added, it immediately added a ukulele with beach vibes. This is really amazing. When shown an uh, image of a man acting as in Matrix, it was able to identify the person is trying to imitate the Matrix. When given this image, it is able to identify it's a constellation Gemini. And next, we're going to see if you are planning to prepare a birthday party, what ideas it can give. So here is the prompt. Ideas for a birthday party for my daughter. Sure, I can help you with that. Can you tell me what she's interested in? The reply is, she loves animals and we are thinking about something outdoors. And it immediately gave with these ideas. It's amazing. So behind the scenes, there's a lot of things going on. So here is the explanation of what was going on. First, it was classifying the request. The user is asking for idea of a birthday party for their daughter. This is a complex request that requires a lot of information to be presented in an organized way. A rich UI is the best way to do this. So the first step is classification, then clarification. In the clarification stage, we saw the response from Gemini listing their daughter's interest and what kind of party and the budget. And again, it went to clarification in regards to what kind of animals she likes. Next, it came to a stage called PRD, Product Requirement Documents. It lists what it's planning to do in regards to creating a UI. Next, layout selection, what type of layout should be used. So it went to mention list detail layout. That's what we saw. It's like a list. Then what template to use? It is planning to use Flutter and it gave the code for that. And finally, it provide the data which need to be included in the response. So it went through six stages before giving us this response, which is list of birthday party ideas. You can see how it's going from requirement analysis to system design and then implementation rather than implementing directly. This is really exciting. And after that, by selecting cupcakes, give me step-by-step -step instruction on how to bake it. Then it gave with these images. Then asked, show me more form animal cake toppers. And it came up with these ideas. Not only that, it is more interactive. So you can choose what you want. When the animal is sheep, then it gave us all the different types of toppings. Now everything is ready for the birthday party. Next, we are going to see audio input to audio output. So when a question was asked, immediately it was able to respond in audio format like this. Not only that, if two person were talking in the audio, it was able to recognize what each person was talking about. 
in this image we can see uh, audio is provided and also image is provided so this large language model is able to understand audio and image and able to respond with the proper response now we're going to see can gemini find similarities between two images so when provided with these two images the images are similar in that they both have a curved and organic composition the curve of the building is the first image is more refined and pronounced while the curve in the second image is more fluid next guessing the name of the movie from the image provided give the play of words of these images guess the name of the movie the breakfast club can gemini understand unusual emojis when provided with this emoji with the combination of ghost and avocado it was able to clearly identify i think it's ghost and avocado explain what visual details you use to figure it out the emoji has shape of a ghost but it is green and has a big brown pit these are called emoji kitchen can gemini understand outfits by providing this image it responded now they are dressed for intergalactic travel when it provided with a saxophone it responded to boldly go where no one has gone before and play some jazz just a little sense of humor can gemini turn images to code when provided with this image it was able to convert this tree into a svg image when asked to represent using html and javascript it was able to create this image and it was interactive we can even read the code by clicking the code tab can gemini make sense of my environments it was able to identify what environment it is and also it is multilingual which means it can even respond in different language so finally gemini is amazing it is better than any models available as per the presentation i can't wait to try this it's really exciting i'm going to create more videos regarding gemini and step by step tutorial so stay tuned i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching